Hello and welcome to my channel where I explain and analyze movies that you love. Today, I'm going to talk about Fargo, the 1996 black comedy crime film written, produced and directed by Joel and Ethan Coen. Fargo is not only a cult classic that won two Oscars, but also a fascinating study of human nature, morality and violence in the American Midwest. Fargo tells the story of Jerry Lundegaard, a car salesman who hires two criminals to kidnap his wife and extort a ransom from his wealthy father-in-law. However, things go horribly wrong when the kidnappers kill a state trooper and two witnesses, attracting the attention of Marge Gunderson, a pregnant police chief who is determined to solve the case. The film is based on certain real events, but most of the details have been fictionalized and altered by the Cohn brothers. According to them, this was a subversive experiment to toy with the audience's expectations and make them more invested in the story. The film begins with a title card that reads, This is a true story. The events depicted in this film took place in Minnesota in 1987. At the request of the survivors, the names have been changed. Out of respect for the dead, the rest has been told exactly as it occurred. However, this is not entirely true. The Coen brothers admitted that they only used the kidnapping plot as a starting point and that most of the characters and incidents were invented by them. The film is also a homage to the Coen brothers' roots and influences. They were born and raised in Minnesota, and they wanted to capture the distinctive culture, dialect, and landscape of the region. They used a lot of local actors and locations, and they consulted with dialect coaches to create authentic dialogue. They also drew inspiration from various genres and filmmakers, such as film noir, crime fiction, Alfred Hitchcock, and Robert Bresson. They blended elements of humor, suspense, tragedy, and absurdity to create a unique and original style. One of the main themes of Fargo is the contrast between the ordinary and the extraordinary, the mundane and the macabre, the good and the evil. The film shows how a simple plan can spiral out of control and lead to horrific consequences. It also shows how different characters react to the situation and how their moral choices define them. Jerry is a desperate and greedy man who lies to everyone and puts his family in danger. Carl and Geyer are ruthless and violent criminals who have no regard for human life. Wade is a stubborn and arrogant businessman who tries to take matters into his own hands. Marge is a smart and compassionate cop who tries to make sense of the chaos and bring justice. Norm is a loving and supportive husband who paints ducks for postage stamps. The film juxtaposes these characters and their actions and creates a moral dilemma for the audience. Who are we rooting for? Who are we sympathizing with? Who are we judging? The film also explores the meaning of life and happiness. It questions what people value and what they are willing to do for it. Jerry wants money and respect, but he ends up losing everything. Carl and Geyer want money and freedom, but they end up killing each other. Wade wants to protect his family and his fortune, but he ends up getting shot. Marge and Norm want a simple and peaceful life, and they seem to be the only ones who are content. The film suggests that money and power are not the sources of happiness, but rather love and honesty. The film ends with a scene of Marge and Norm in bed, talking about their baby and their future. Marge says, and it's a beautiful day. This contrasts with the previous scene of Gear being arrested in a snowy and bloody landscape. Marge says, So that was Mrs. Lundegaard on the floor in there. And I guess that was your accomplice in the wood chipper. And those three people in Brainerd. And for what? For a little bit of money. There's more to life than a little money, you know. Don't you know that? And here you are, and it's a beautiful day. Well, I just don't understand it. Fargo is a masterpiece of filmmaking that combines comedy and drama, realism and surrealism, violence and tenderness. It is a film that makes you laugh, cry, think and feel. It is a film that challenges your expectations and your morals. It is a film that stays with you long after you watch it. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you think of Fargo and the Cone Brothers. See you next time.